Good morning, it's Kim Marie, and uh, just loving these beautiful days. I'm taking advantage of every single one of them. Uh, and this mountain air is amazing. But I have a question for you. If you could have anything in the world, if you had a magic wand, what would it be? You know, or forget the magic wand. If you, what goals? Are you, what goals are we striving for? Is it uh, to make more money, to be more successful, to have better health, to have a more um, reciprocal relationships? What What is it? You know, put your comments below. I'd love to know. And then I have a question for you. Do you, number one, do you believe it's attainable? And what are you willing to trade to get it? So sometimes we think if we, if we want to be more successful, if we want to make more money, we have to work harder. Or that if we want better health, we have to deprive ourselves in some way. Or if we want to have happy relationships, then we have to give up a part of who we are. And that is not true. None of those are true you know, across the board statements at all. There are beliefs that, uh, that we have that actually keep us stuck, right? Or else we would have that thing. Um, but there, there has to be a trade. And sometimes the trade is just the, the limiting belief that's stopping you thinking that you have to add more hours to your day, or you have to struggle more to get that thing. So that, that is a belief that, that you can trade, that you can let go of and open up to investing your energy into, um, into, coming from a place of grace and ease, shifting your mindset, shifting your belief system, um, investing in, in ways that allow you to come from a place of attraction, which is a lot of what I'm teaching, right? A lot of what I'm teaching is getting into the place of love, joy, peace, freedom, because when we're there, we're magnetic. We let out literally a magnetic field, um, which is scientifically proven, um, and you can feel it. You know when people, you you know the people you want to be around and the people you don't. So it's a magnetic energy and so we do attract. So when we attract, it's not hard. You don't have to struggle. Yes, you do have to invest though. I mean, I definitely put a lot of time in investing in who I am and in, in how I show up in in what I do when I when I'm not my best self how do I clean that up do I clean up my side of the street do I um, do I clear up miscommunications the best way I can do I clear up the energy within myself that uh, that is resistant that wants to be right that wants to uh, hold on to resentment and, and ultimately takes me down right? So we can have all these metaphysical principles, but we still have to show up. We can't expect abundance to come at us if we're not willing to put forth the energy, to put forth um, who we are, to show up fully, the good, the bad, the ugly, right? To show up fully. So what are you willing to give up? Are you willing to give up the, for me, what I'm even doing these videos, I'm willing to give up the looking perfect and being this, this thing, person on a pedestal that knows and who can help clients and who can pull people along as if, well, I don't struggle myself. Well, I absolutely do struggle. I absolutely have had a lot of challenges in my life, and that's why I'm good at what I do, and and can get climb down into the muck with you and pull you out, right? So, for me, it's I don't ever want to be put on a pedestal at all because that's detrimental to me and everyone. Um, so I show the parts of myself that aren't so great you know that are that are still running in flip-flops that's why I talk about it a lot and and I tell clients things you know a lot of therapists actually they're they're trained not to tell about their personal life and for me well number one I'm not a therapist but I purposely do not to you know waste your time hearing my stuff but if if it comes up where 
you need to understand that, yes, I know where, where you are and I know what that feels like. And this is how I've struggled and this is how I've come out the other side or this is what I've learned from it. Um, and, and I've done some ugly things, things I wouldn't want to repeat, but this is what I learned from it. This is how I grew. Then I'm going to help you and you're going to understand. You're going to trust because you know, you know that I got you and you know that not only I have you, the world has you, that, that the world is still lovable, that you are still lovable and that there is hope. So what are you willing to trade? It, it can be showing up bigger. It can be uh, trusting more. It can be letting go of an old belief system. It can be uh, walking in a direction of faith when you only get that one step. You only get that one prompt, you know? I've, t I've gotten prompts where it was, it was, you know, you just need to not you just need to take a job and, and not be working for yourself for the moment. And when I do, I get pulled to this direction and it's every single time. And, it, and it's, you, it's, it's only been a temporary job each time, but it's opened up a new part of my, my, you know, what I'm doing, new part of, of helping people. It's opened up to a piece of me. It showed a piece for me, but I've had to be willing to surrender and invest. I mean, only a few months ago, I, I took a management position for only a month and a half. I ended up being there, but I learned so much and it was so good for me to reignite things again and to show me areas where people need help and show me areas where I can go into businesses and, and, and problem solve and, and offer leadership skills. So there's always a reason and we have to be willing to even take a step back because to me that was a little bit of a step back in, in uh, financially, just in a lot of ways, but it wasn't. I didn't go in acting like I was better than anything. I went in with the, like, a, like an eager child, like, okay, what am I being shown here? So just show up. We be willing to give something, to trade something. If it's your health, what are you going to invest in? You know, yes, you may need to let go of some bad habits, but the good ones feel good. They really do. Um, eating good feels good and, and it can be delicious. It doesn't have to be starving yourself or eating cardboard, right? <laughs> there, there are, there is balance. We don't have to go from one extreme to the other. So that is uh, the message. What are you willing to trade? That's my challenge for you. And I see some people watching. So to comment because it, it's fun, right? We have nothing to lose here. Comment on the video. Comment on any, you know, anything that's going on or what it strikes up for you or questions you have. Repost the videos if they feel good or if you think maybe somebody would benefit from it. And yeah. You have an amazing day. Bye-bye.